All right. So, assuming that you have finally installed all the programs you need and all the software and all the things and you're able to get your characters loaded and logged in all at the same time, let's go through basic first steps that you would need to get your group to start working for you and hopefully not against you. So here we go. Um, we push the tilde button to bring up the blue screen of awesome. It's going to, this is where you input most of your commands. Uh, the default key is tilde, which is just above the tab, if you're looking for it, on your keyboard. Um, once again, I should note that this is the Drunder server. In fact, if you look, I believe there's only me, my three tunes, and some guardian that is even logged in. Uh, so yeah, so the server is pretty much empty. It's up for the grabs. There's all the contesteds. Anything you could ever want is on the Drunder server. Um, but it's a one-way ticket. But that's why we're here. We're here to uh, play the way we want to play. And this is the server that allows us to do that. Alright, so for the newbies, we're going to do some commands. And if you get lost, uh, just rewatch the video or ask me in Discord, or you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. But first thing we're going to do is we are going to start Ogre. So we're going to relay all Ogre. And that should pop it up. You notice some things pop up. It says ability export not found. That's because these are brand new characters and this does not know what spells or abilities they have. So we'll pull up our console again with a tilde. Relay all ogre export. Just like that. It should take not very long considering they don't have that many abilities. It's got like 21 abilities here. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on. If you notice, I've got my naming scheme down. It's actually a six man group, but I've only loaded three to show you guys how I do this to make it simple. A1 is the, it's the A group. Um, my alternate group would be B, C. You can, you can come up with any naming scheme. And they don't have to be cool names like mine. You can come up with some boring names like Toad Liquor or whatever it is you like to name your tunes. Uh, but I go eight, one through six to keep it simple and keep it organized on who is who. All right, so it looks like the export is done. If you go to this other screen, it actually shows all three of them have completed their export, which is great. So now we are going to reload our ogre. So we're going to relay all ogre. It's going to reload it. This time it has the exports. So that is great. All right, so here we are on the tank. We are going to... Your MCP probably looks a little different since you just installed it. Mine's pretty customed out. Got a lot of buttons in a lot of places. But let's assume you're new. So we're going to right click on, just pick a button, any button you want, and we're going to drop down and we're going to go to invite. So that way we can have a button that invites our group. It's called inviter. You just type in each tune that you want to invite. So on this one it would be A2. A3, A4, A5, and A6. Now the good thing about using this versus an ingrain macro is this button, click apply to, will invite them in order. So if you notice, A1 will invite in order. Now they didn't accept the invite, so that is a problem. Right, because you want your, you don't have to go through every screen. So the problem is, is they don't know to trust A1. A1's not a trusted person. So what you have to do is make them a trusted person. You just go to E2Q Cares. I'm not going to click on it because it has a list of all my characters. But you just click on this button and then you click Add Group to List. 
All right. So once you have added your group to the list, you can actually show this again. So I will kick these guys out of my group. Kick. All right. So now when we go to the invite, it should actually automatically invite them in the order that they are. So if you have six tunes, you notice here it goes through them one at a time. See, look at that. Now, in your raid window, everything will be in order. In your group window, it'll always be in the same order, which is good. So now, how do you get your characters to interact with each other? So we'll jump on over to A2. And we will go to... Um, it's basically uh, the everything you do in Ogre is run off of this little window that it, I don't even know what he calls it but it's it's an awesome window so you click show main you go to aliases so this will be where you edit who the tank is who the healer is who your DPS are so you can click on tank and in this case it's a one click edit uh, bolster a one since I don't have any of the bolsters thing main tank and you can just edit all these things so a one all right so once you've done that you want to go to the setup tab to see where he's following auto follow a tank and then assist you'll see that it's tank okay so once you've set it up click save and then we'll go to the other guy a6 we will go to setup he's on tank assist he's on tank all right so now we'll set up his aliases his aliases are simple since he is a ranger he is just has tank so we will go to a1 click edit and click save See, look, he's automatically auto-following and assisting. So now we go back to our tank, and you'll notice that our two people follow. How awesome is that? All right, so let's say you want to do some questing. I don't know why you would want to do questing, but let's say you want to do questing. So you target the NPC. You go to objects. I'm guessing the MCP is mostly the same, but the objects tab... Click hail, and that will make everybody in your group face what you're targeting, hail, and then you've got the options of dialogue. So one, 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 typically always one. You just click one. All right, everybody's got the quest. So now, what does the quest say? Seek out so-and-so. All right, so now we run over here. Look at this. They're following me. What great little bots. Got to love it. Got to love the gender server. As long as you have you have this, you don't have to worry about getting banned or anything. I might get banned because I'm putting this on YouTube, but that's for my problem to worry about, not your guys'. Um, so we hail, option one, 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 one. All right. So now what do we got to do? We got to, oh my goodness, how boring are these quests? This is why nobody does quests, but I wanted to get a quest that I can show you how to actually complete if it's like a gather quest or something. Oh, combat trainer. That makes sense. This is the newbie stuff. One, 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 one. All right. So now we gotta kill us. Sparring partner. So let's see. We just target him. Look, I don't even cast anything. I just target the guy, and things happen. It's awesome. So we hail. Everybody hails. One, 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 one. All right. Now we go turn in. This is the way the game should be played. It's like even better than just playing one character, even for questing, because who likes to actually try and find where the dialogue is and the head's all turning all the time? That's annoying. But with this option one, it takes all the frustrating parts of questing away. So now we have to go kill some Rygors. I'm guessing they're around here somewhere. I don't even know how to play this game. Let's see. I see the blue on the map. Oh, here they are. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Kill all the orcs. Alright, die, die. So you notice A6 is actually running. He'll actually find the back of the mob. In fact, if I turn the mob, look, he goes crazy. 
And he runs. He always finds the back. He's a good little ranger. Um, if that drives you crazy or you don't want to be as noticeable of a botter, you just go to A6, shows high, show main, go settings, and uncheck move into melee range, move behind mob. But we're playing on Drunder, so we like to look like bots because that is what we do. But I understand if you are playing on another server, I would not recommend it. This is not against this is against the EULA. It is not allowed to be done on regular servers. So you can try it if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. All right. Looks like we are in the middle of Agro Central over here. But it's okay because we're super overpowered. We've got healers healing. We've got DPS DPSing. And tanks tanking. All right. So we're going to move back. Get out of aggro range. Target yourself, and that makes your... Oh. If you're, uh... I'll show you guys something else here really cool. There's one other way to do the follow. And that's another way that you don't want to do it if you're on a regular server, because it's totally noticeable. But there's the ogre follow. This basically says for who. You just push enter for all. You push enter for me. And then enter for the default. So now... Whenever you move, your people will always come, even no matter what. This is like the best follow. If you target yourself, that removes, this person doesn't think we're in combat anymore, so it just starts following. It's awesome. Um, it's, the, it's, it's, the, it's the better follow. Ogre follow is far superior to EQ2 follow, and I recommend it when you can get away with it like you do on the Drunder server. So once again, I highly recommend Drunder. Alright, so now we'll go turn in. Let's see if we can get one of these quests to collect things. Because collecting things is also kind of tedious. Especially when you're running a whole group. So we will get them over here. If they're following too far behind, you can click this minus. It'll bring them up closer. See how close they get? It's like they're hugging me. Who? How could you not want bots to give you hugs? I mean, that's like the best ever. Alright, so now we are going to do a quest. Let's see. Gather planks of wood. Perfect. Alright. The planks of wood are over here. Do, 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 do. I know you're over here. Mr. Plank of Wood. I may have been drinking a little bit, but drinking is required. If you want to go questing, ask anybody. They'll tell you. Alright, so now we have a plank of wood, right? But who wants to click on planks of wood? Luckily, there's a button for it. You click special. And that automatically clicks things that are right next to you. So you click special, and you gather. And then if you notice, I'll click special, and I'll escape, and it'll still disappear because that means one of the bots are getting it. So that is how you would quest with multiple bots and doing stuff, but for me, when I like to multi-box, I just like to just destroy things. So you just target them, mob by mob, and just keep killing. It's way, way faster and way better. So look at that, already level 4. See how fast of a leveler I am? Alright, a couple more things I want to share with you guys that I feel like should be in this very first video. Is things like... Things like Camp Spot and jousting. So one of the things you're going to run into while you're raiding or doing some harder content or even some basic content is characters are going to follow you in and you don't want them to follow you in all the time. So one of the things you can do is uh, find your camp spot default button. There it is. So we'll just click it and you notice that the characters no longer follow you. Now if you're fighting something They'll actually stay back there in their camp spot if I get aggro with level 2 tune. So if you notice, even when I bring the mob way over here, they stay put because they are camped. So let's say you're fighting something like this, and you didn't want them, you wanted them to joust in. So you see the melee would joust in. He's fighting, fighting, fighting. Alright, we'll pull this thing. I need to 
find some modules and more hit points to really show how this works. But I don't have a guild hall, so I can't do it on the dummy like like I could normally. Like let's say let's say this mob and oh my god the AE's coming. You just click joust out and your melee runs away to the camp spot. And then you just joust in when you want them to come attack. When you're all done, you click let's go and the camp spot clears. Another thing that you may want to change is since everybody's targeting through you, if you notice, even if I pause this tune and I target a mob, like these guys still fight it. And if you're talking to an NPC that's doing a quest and it acts, you know, it's, it's a, a mob that you can kill, that can get really frustrating. So one of the things you can do is to, you want to tell your bots not to attack something right away. So you click show up link. Now this controls all of your tunes. So this will be for everybody, but a quick way to make a change, to change a setting is to click show up link and then ignore NPC HP 100. You just check it and then uncheck it, right? So now you hide uplink. And if you notice that they no longer will attack something, oh. So it looks like one of them did. Now that could be really frustrating. Let's go find out what happened. This is actually a good learning tool. So it looked like it was A2. So we'll click show main, go to the settings. You notice that they're not, they're ignoring, so that's fine, but you go into setup and you notice here it says 100% NPC hit points to attack, 100% to attack range. So that is not a good setting. So we're, I don't know why that's the default, but what I like to do is change these numbers to 99. Click save. So now they should not attack the mob until its hit points drop below or drop to 99% or below. See? Pretty good. Even the tank is set to not attack things. But watch this. As soon as I hit it one time, bam. Now everybody's doing something. They're all going crazy. Oh, look at that. Ding level 5. And this is while making videos. Leveling with a group is way faster than leveling alone. So yeah, so those are the main things. If you want to have your characters attack all the time, make sure you check ignore NPC HP 100 and they will always attack as soon as you give them a target, which is awesome. All right guys, well, that's the basics to get you started. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then downvote the shit out of it. But if you did, go ahead and do a thumbs up, like and subscribe, tell me that you want more of these Drunder botting videos because if there's not a need for it I'm not going to show you guys how it's done because that would be a waste of my time if nobody wants to watch. Alright, have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you guys later.